everybody, it's Marjorie. <laughs> look at me today. I, <laughs> I can't decide if I look like some for Little House in the Prairie or Downton Abbey. I'm, it's quite Maggie Smith, isn't it? Well, <laughs> well, I was wearing this the other day, right? When I was, well, I was babysitting wee Pansy Potter for my hairdresser, Kylie Marie Antoinette. And I put this on and I thought, here, this, <laughs> this looks quite historical. I could, I could do a wee episode, you know, a wee episode for the blog on history, you know, in making history. And when I babysit me Pansy Potter, I'll be able to educate her. So it'll be, it'll be like the dual purpose, you know, babysit me Pansy Potter and I'll, I'll learn her some history. Now, she's only two. She's about two and a bit. So, but, you know, they say that it's, it's better to start when you're early, right? So, so me Pansy Potter, she's sitting in her wee chair the other day and she's rocking her boot. Right? And I says, now, today, little Pansy Potter, we're going to learn about history, right? And she's, oh, she's all excited. She was, she was as happy as I was beating a walnut whip. So I says, now, we're going to take you through some, some basic history, some basic history, and maybe, like, talk about the, the, the last hundred years. Or, or, or even before that, you know, because history is in, in the past, right? So she's all, she's all geared up, right? So <laughs> we started over, we were talking about, you know, the, the Battle of Hastings, you know, the Battle of Hastings, 1066, you know, so I was telling her about all the cowboys and Indians and, you know, all the, you know, letting Calamity Jane, you know, oh, they did, what's dangerous, I can't remember, what are the words? Anyway, so I was telling her about all about that and the First and the Second World Wars, and she was, she was looking at me going, you know, because her wee face was looking at me as if to say the wars. And I was telling her about, you know, the, the leader, you know, the, the Germans, you know, the, the Nazi party. So I was telling her all about that and how Alfred Hitchcock led that, you know, that crusade. And um, I says, I says to be Pansy Potter, I mean, how he got time to lead the Germans and fight a war is anybody's guess. Because, I mean, he, he was in Hollywood directing all the films. You know, he, he must have been quite good at the multitasking. And then I was telling her about all the presidents, all the American presidents, for, for Abra, 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 Abraham, it's Abraham, Abraham Lincoln, right? Right through, right through to the current day, to President Biden. Now, Biden, I was able to tell we Pansy Potter, because he was in the news the other day, because apparently he was in the MA, they struck the MA, because they were taking Biden for Edinburgh through to the COP conference, wasn't they? Through to the, the, the COP in Glasgow at the SECCC, C, C. Um, so that was that. Now, I say to Pansy Potter, I didn't, I didn't know if the president was coming or no. I didn't know if Biden was going to come to the conference or if he was going to, you know, just <laughs> stay Biden where he was. So that was that. And I told her about all the kings and queens and Queen Victoria, right up to the present queen. And what else did I tell her? Oh, and I told her the history, a quick run through of High road, take the high road from 1980 to 2003. So her wee, her wee face was all agog and her wee lights were lighting up. And then what else did I tell her? Oh, about the, you know, the, the first man on the moon. Because, I mean, when, see when I talk about the space, when you know, she looks up and she's looking about, oh, her wee face is adorable. So I was telling her about Alexand Alexander Armstrong, you know, the first man on the moon. And he's done well for himself because, I mean, he was the first man on the moon, right? They, lo they launched him up in a rocket. I mean, <laughs> they did just launch him, put a, a, wee, a wee Bunsen burner under his bum. He went up in a rocket. He was the first man, the first man to stand on the, on the moon. And look at him now. He's presenting Pointless on the BBC on a Saturday night. So that's good. He's done well for himself. And then I was telling her about Henry VIII. Now, I couldn't remember because, I mean, history wasn't really my strong point. I don't actually know what my strong point was at the school. <laughs> I was too busy having a carry on and <laughs> flinging dough balls out the window and hitting the boys in the heat in the playground. <laughs> so anyway, I remembered about Henry VIII. He had multiple wives. Now, I couldn't remember if Henry VIII had six wives, seven wives, or eight wives. But I think nine of them were beheaded, I'm sure. And there was Jane Seymour. Jane Seymour was one of Henry VIII's wives, and she did well for herself as well, because she went on to be in the, you know, the, the medicine woman. <laughs>